Hello everyone, in this video we have to find the value of a and b if 5 to the power square root of a plus b equals to square root of 125 and 5 to the power square root of a minus b equals to square root of 125. Solution will be here we have been given that 5 to the power square root of a plus b equals to square root of 125 let's say this equation 1 and we have 5 to the power square root of a minus b equals to square root of 125 let's say this equation 2 now on multiplying equation 1 and equation 2 we get 5 to the power square root of a plus b times 5 to the power square root of a minus b equals to square root of 125 times square root of 125. Now by exponential rule a to the power m times a to the power n equals to a to the power m plus n we can write this as 5 to the power square root of a plus b plus square root of a minus b equals to square root of 125 times square root of 125 will be 125. This equals to 5 to the power square root of a plus b plus square root of a minus b equals to now 125 can be written as 5 cube. Now since base are equal therefore square root of a plus b plus square root of a minus b equals to 3. Let's say this equation 3. Now on dividing equation 1 by equation 2 we get 5 to the power square root of a plus b by 5 to the power square root of a minus b equals to square root of 125 by square root of 125. Here and here square root of 125 will be reduced by square root of 125 one times here also one times. Now by exponential rule a to the power m by a to the power n equals to a to the power m minus n we can write this as 5 to the power square root of a plus b minus square root of a minus b equals to 1. This equals to 5 to the power square root of a plus b minus square root of a minus b equals to 1 can be written as 5 to the power 0. Now since base are equal therefore square root of a plus b minus square root of a minus b equals to 0. Let's say this equation 4. Now on adding equation 3 and equation 4 we get equation 3 is square root of a plus b plus square root of a minus b equals to 3 and equation 4 we have square root of a plus b minus square root of a minus b equals to 0. Now square root of a plus b 
plus square root of a plus b will be 2 times square root of a plus b. Square root of a minus b minus square root of a minus b will be 0. Equals to 3 plus 0 is 3. This equals to square root of a plus b equals to 3 by 2. On squaring both side we get square root of a plus b whole square equals to 3 by 2 whole square. This equals to square root of a plus b whole square will be a plus b equals to 3 by 2 whole square will be 9 by 4. Let's say this equation 5. Now on subtracting equation 4 from equation 3 we get equation 3 is square root of a plus b plus square root of a minus b equals to 3 and equation 4 we have square root of a plus b minus square root of a minus b equals to 0. Now since we have to subtract so we will change the sign of second equation. So this becomes minus, this becomes plus and this becomes minus. Now square root of a plus b minus square root of a plus b equals to 0. Square root of a minus b plus square root of a minus b will be 2 times square root of a minus b equals to 3 minus 0 is 3. This equals to square root of a minus b equals to 3 by 2. Now on squaring both side we get square root of a minus b whole square equals to 3 by 2 whole square. This equals to square root of a minus b whole square will be a minus b equals to 3 by 2 whole square will be 9 by 4. Let's say this equation 6. Now on adding equation 5 and equation 6 we get equation 5 is a plus b equals to 9 by 4 and equation 6 is a minus b equals to 9 by 4. a plus a equals to 2a. b minus b equals to 0 equals to 9 by 4 plus 9 by 4 will be 2 times 9 by 4. This equals to a equals to 2 times 9 by 4 times 1 by 2. Here and here 2 will be reduced by 2 1 times here also 1 times. This equals to a equals to 9 by 4. This equals to 2.25. Now on substituting a equals to 9 by 4 in equation 5 we get equation 5 is a plus b equals to 9 by 4. a is 9 by 4 plus b equals to 9 by 4. Transposing 9 by 4 to right hand side we can write this as b equals to 9 by 4 minus 9 by 4. This equals to b equals to 0. Therefore, a equals to 9 by 4 equals to 2.25 and b equals to 0. This is our solution.